The moment we've been anxiously waiting for has finally arrived, Ram has let us loose behind the wheel of its new heavy-duty rebel. Announced at the 2022 State Fair of Texas, the 2023 Ram Heavy Duty Rebel joins the Power Wagon and TRX to round out the company's trifecta of off-road dominant pickups. The Heavy Duty Rebel takes pages out of the Power Wagon playbook, including the same flexi suspension, Bilstein monotubed dampers, and electronic locking rear differential, and pairs them with up to 16,870 pounds of towing and 3,140 pounds of payload hauling ability. Available with both the 6.4-liter gasoline V8, 410 horsepower and 429 pounds to foot, and 6.7-liter Cummins diesel, 370 horsepower and 850 pounds to foot, the heavy-duty Rebel is a great compromise for those who need great capability and off-road ability. We recently spent the day driving the heavy-duty Rebel in the mountains of Southern California, and let us tell you, Neither the scenery nor the truck left us disappointed. Heavy duty animal off road. We're not going to bury the lead on this one. Ram built the new heavy duty Rebel to be the most capable heavy duty pickup in off road driving south of its own power wagon. And if our short experience behind the wheel is any indication, we'd say that they have succeeded. Before heading off the pavement Ram aired down the tires on the heavy-duty Rebel to something more suitable to the terrain, 45 pounds per square inch in front for the Cummins trucks, 40 pounds per square inch for the gassers, and 40 pounds per square inch in the rear for all. Our trails consisted of a combination of dirt, loose rocks, sand, and shale, with a good mix of climbs, descents, and desert whoops. Overall, the heavy-duty Rebel was darn impressive. The Bilstein monotube shocks dampened the harshness with ease, resulting in very little head toss and almost no full jounce moments. The flexi suspension kept all four tires mostly in contact with the earth while the truck's Goodyear Duratrack tires provided excellent grip. To really demonstrate the truck's ability, Ram set up a course that took us up rutted and loose climbs with more than 20 degrees of incline. Shifted into low range and with the rear locking differential engaged, the heavy-duty Rebel made short and easy work of those climbs. Less experienced, drivers were left visibly in awe of the truck's ability. It was fun to watch. If we were to nitpick, we really would like to see the truck fit a 35-inch tall tire. The small increase in tire size would help relieve anxiety about both breakover angle and ground clearance at the differentials. And can we please get the 18-inch wheel option? With the standard 20-inch wheels there's just not enough sidewall for our comfort. It's a small thing, but it would go a long way. We also noticed that the rear locking differential was a bit finicky to get engaged. This could have easily been user error or impatience, but we spent a fair bit of time with the indicator light either flashing or not illuminated at all before the differential finally engaged. Small things, but worth mentioning. Calm and collected on the highway. When the dust settled and dirt gave way to pavement, the heavy duty Rebel became an entirely different truck. It is one of the most quiet and smoothest riding heavy duty pickups on the road today. Punctuating its quietness, we could easily hear the hum of the Goodyear Duratrack tires over that of the Cummins engine. If it weren't for the knobby tires, the truck would be nearly silent inside the cab. The rear five-link suspension does wonders over broken and uneven pavement, while the Bilstein monotube shocks soak up each and every bump in the road. The heavy-duty Rebel is simply too good on the highway to believe it's a heavy-duty pickup. If you think we're being too generous, get out to the dealer and try one for yourself. You won't be disappointed. The Cummins Power Wagon we always wanted. According to the powers that be at Ram, one of the most frequently asked questions still to this day is, when will there be a Cummins Power Wagon? The answer still remains a simple not at this time. Aside from the Cummins engine putting too much weight over the front axle and producing too much torque for the front electronic locking differential, the main reason, or excuse, if you prefer, 
for not including the oil burner is the interference of the truck's 12,000-pound worn winch with the necessary cooling stack for the Cummins. Well, for the foreseeable future, the heavy-duty Rebel is as close to the Cummins-powered power wagon as we're going to get. On the trails we could definitely feel the added weight of the Cummins engine. However, Ram engineers have done a great job with spring rates and shock tuning to lessen the negative effects of the engine's heft. With 850 pounds to foot of torque on tap, we found throttle tip in while in low range to be almost too sensitive, though we're sure this is something that we could get used to after enough time. Hill climbs were dispatched with ease, as the truck nearly idled up even the steepest hills. We now understand why so many have asked for a Cummins power wagon. Three different interior options. Although the 2023 Ram Heavy Duty Rebel is said to slot between the Laramie and Power Wagon models in the company's lineup, that doesn't mean that it's without options. Specifically, there are three different interiors available for the Heavy Duty Rebel, Base, Level 1, and Level 2. During our time with the truck we were able to experience both the Level 1 interior with a front bench seat, and the Level 2 interior, which only comes with front buckets. The Level 2 interior, which brings fully wrapped Natura Plus leather seats and interior accents, is definitely a cut above the mid-range Bristol leather trimmed Level 1 interior, but both proved to be incredibly nice places to spend time. The front seats are incredibly comfortable and there's a ton of storage space to be had, even with the bench seat. Uconnect 5 displayed on the truck's massive 12-inch center screen appears to be wonderfully executed, and the new 12-inch frameless digital gauge cluster is a technological wonder. We're going to need more time with both to fully appreciate what they are capable of. Our only real gripe, aside from Ram still using the darn gear selector knob on gas-powered trucks, is that because of the vertical orientation of the center screen, the rear-view camera display is much smaller in size than other vehicles. The small size does a disservice to the quality of the cameras and image. But really, it's but a small quibble. Wait, it costs how much? Let's face it, everything is more expensive these days, and pickups are no exception. When Ram first announced the 2023 Heavy Duty Rebel at the 2022 State Fair of Texas, the company noted that the truck will start at $67,045 plus $1,895 for destination and delivery. Honestly, that's not too bad for a heavy-duty truck that's only available in crew cab, four-wheel drive configuration. However, once optioned up, those prices quickly rise. During our time with the Heavy Duty Rebel, we were able to drive both the 6.4-litre gasoline and 6.7-litre Cummins diesel variants. The gasoline truck was fitted with the Level 2 interior package, and priced out to $80,065. Our Cummins-powered tester, outfitted with a bench seat and more basic Level 1 interior, checked in at an astonishing $91,070. This means that a fully decked out, Cummins-powered, Level 2 interior, heavy-duty Rebel will easily reach $95,000. By comparison, the 2022 Ram Power Wagon starts at $63,860 and can be optioned to about $83,000. This may sound less expensive, but remember, the Power Wagon is not available with the nearly $10,000 Cummins diesel option. Power Wagon or heavy-duty Rebel, which is right. The choice between buying a Ram Power Wagon or Heavy Duty Rebel is a lot more cut and dry than it might first appear on the surface. It all comes down to a few simple choices. First, if you need a Cummins diesel engine, your only option is the Rebel. From there it comes down to whether you need the additional towing and hauling capability of the Rebel or the additional off-road hardware of the Power Wagon. When can I get a Heavy Duty Rebel? If the hefty price tag didn't scare you away, the 2023 Ram Heavy Duty Rebel will begin production in November of this year, and Ram says they will be available on dealer lots and to order by the end of 2022. Merry Christmas!